Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. It's actually been like two months since I have sat behind the camera and just chatted with you all. I think a lot of you or some of you may know by now, but I did have a breakup, so I've just been kind of going through the motions, you know, trying to heal. And honestly, sitting here talking to you guys, I'm so excited to finally be able to. I've wanted to for a while now, but I just just didn't feel quite ready. Right now it's actually like 10 p.m. when I'm recording, but I just had the urge to film. So anyways, if you're going through a breakup, um, I'm here too. You're not alone and I just wish you all the best and I love you so much and thank you for being patient. This is such a long intro, I'm sorry, but anyway, if you're new here, my name is Lindsay. Um, I'm a big lover of makeup, skincare, fragrance, all that, and in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to try out all of my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I'm super excited and if you are too, definitely keep watching. I believe I actually have 16 Fenty Beauty lip glosses to share with you and I got the inspiration to do this video from a TikTok I saw where a girl had like 20 or something from over the years and she shared all her colors and I thought why not do that for some fun just a nice light-hearted kind of impromptu video I thought it'd be really fun so yeah and I think I want to just go in order from regular formula to cream to heat and then to ice. I think that's how I want to do it. Starting, of course, with the original. I feel like it'd be disrespectful not to. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. Honestly, I'm pretty sure Fenty Beauty has my favorite gloss formula, at least top five, and I've tried a lot of glosses, you guys as you've seen on this channel. But this is the original Fenty Glow, who we all know and love. Such a beautiful shade for every day. I love it. Next up is the shade Fussy. This might be like the second shade she ever came out with, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. Oh my goodness. I do like this one a little bit more than the original. That feels so good on the lips and it's just so pretty. And I will link everything down below, like all my makeup I'm wearing right now. I don't know how good it looks at this point since I've been wearing it for hours. And like I said, it is like 10 at night. Um, but I will link everything below as well as the glosses if you're curious. Next up is one of my personal favorites. This one is called Diamond Milk. It's just a really gorgeous, white, shimmery, sparkly masterpiece that I love. Some people don't like... <laughs> see? Some people don't like how white this can come across as far as, like, you know, the milkiness it has to it. But me personally, especially if you're doing like a dark lip liner, nude lip on the inside and then you smudge it out and then you put this on top, it's just going to look delicious and people are going to ask you what you're wearing. So this is really beautiful to me, although I could see why some people would kind of steer away from it. If you do want something like this, but you don't love, love, love it to spend that $20, $22 on it, I think it's like $20, but either way, if you don't want to spend in that price point, I would look at the Essence Gloss. They have a similar shade to this and it's a little bit less, um, you know, with that white cast. So if you're not a fan of this one, I think you might like that one and it's way cheaper. But if you really, really want that intense kind of milky look, you're not going to get it with the Essence one. So anyway, sorry, off topic. This is a beautiful one. Again, it's Diamond Milk. I think I'm just over, you know, explaining each shade because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. So you guys know I can da 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 da, -da. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Diamond Milk. Let me tell y'all a little something about Sweet Mouth. I love this light pink. It's so pretty, so flattering. But you guys... This is kind of embarrassing. I embarrass myself sometimes on here, but I don't care when it comes to you guys. But this is where I first found Sweet Mouth or tried it for the first time. It was in a Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Christmas Edition set. And you guys, this has to be... I was in high school when I got this. I'm 22 now. 
This has to be like five years old, if not more maybe. This is insane. It's so crusty, dusty, busted. It's just seen better days. I don't know why I keep this because I do not use this anymore. Um, but you guys, it's, it's such a pretty color anyway. And you know when they came out with it in a bigger component, I needed to get my hands on it. So let's go ahead and swatch it. By the way, if you guys have literally any other video ideas for me, any products for me to try out or anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I know um, for a while there when I was going through everything, I would say, you know, I'm trying to get back to posting, yada, 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 but I just kept failing at that. It was because I just had so much going on, but now I really do want to get back to filming and consistently dropping YouTube videos because I love you guys. This is the shade. Honestly, you don't see a lot of pink, but I see just enough for it to be my favorite. It's so pretty, again, especially if you do have a lip liner, and I just think she's such a pretty girl. Same thing with the shade Hot Chocolate. This is also one of my favorite shades, um, but you guys, look. This is another one from the Glossy Posse. This one and Sweet Mouth came together, but y'all, they're so dusty and crusted up at this point. I need to throw them them away this one actually looks a little concerning if you really look at it um but yeah this is hot chocolate and this is beautiful and if you're looking for something that has more pigment they do have their cream line which is really beautiful as well and then a few shades of their heat i believe are also really opaque and next up is fuchsia flex this was from their holiday kit which came out last year Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. I haven't used this one since December. And oh my goodness. Look at the pigment and that beautiful, beautiful sparkle. I'm really building this one up so you guys can see like the true color. I know it's getting kind of messy and one more time I'm going to say it and I won't say it anymore. But with a lip liner this would just be like 10 times better and then this in the center. But look how pretty Fuchsia Flex is. This is probably like their most like poppy one like where you're like wow. You know this is a stunning stunning shade and it's super unique in my collection. It's just so pretty. I'm a little bummed out because I just realized one of my favorite, favorite gloss bombs, I think in the shade Cheeky. I can't find it, you guys, and honestly, I looked in my purse because it wasn't there for so long, but it's not there, so I'm not sure if I left it in Georgia when I did recently go there or what happened, but anyway, I'll go ahead and I will put a clip of it on the screen because, oh my goodness, you guys, that orangey, reddish, kind of similar to this one from Sephora in shade 10. That gloss from Fenty Beauty is so pretty. So I can't make this video and not give it an honorable mention of some sort. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it on the screen. That one is like stunning. And then really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these two shades that were limited edition, so I don't think you can get them anymore. But just in case you're watching this in the future and, you know, maybe one of the shades is available again, I don't know, just having hope, you know. This one right here is called Pretty Peas. Excuse me, Pretty Please. <laughs> Pretty Peas. Uh, but it's like a very gorgeous, hot, sparkly pink. Oh my goodness. I forget how gorgeous Fenty Beauty glosses are until I put them on. Same thing with the Fuchsia one. Wow. I think I'd give anything for Fenty Beauty to bring this back. I don't want to keep this on my lips for too long because this is like five years old once again, but it's so pretty and again the shade is pretty please, not peas, please. As in Fenty Beauty, will you pretty please bring this gloss back because it is gorgeous you guys. Look at that. Stunning. 
Next up is Confetti. It's giving space vibes. Super pretty. Oh no, my lips feel so weird after putting that last shade on. <gasps> and like I said, it's so old. I hope my lips are okay. I'm quickly, quickly, quickly gonna put this one on and then I'm wiping it off. So I'm not gonna talk about it. Again, it reminds me of like space. It's really, really pretty. There is Confetti, super beautiful with that blue reflect. I'm wiping this off immediately because I don't know why it feels like, I know why it feels like that because this is old and needs to be thrown away. Now moving on to the cream formula, which you can already tell just by looking at it and the components. It's definitely more opaque, more intense with that color payoff, which some people may like, some people may not. It's just depending on you and your preferences when it comes to gloss. This one is so pretty in the shade Cupcake In. I got it from the holiday launch last year. And there's another shade called Mauve Wives or something like that. I really want to get my hands on because it is so gorgeous, you guys. This one's more pinky. And yeah, automatically, you guys can see way more pigment there. Super pretty. I love that. And again, this one is in the shade Cupcake In. Next up, I think this one is called Bubble Binge. I actually just tried on the shade, what was it, Savage Fenty, and I totally thought that one was a cream formula too, but then my lips started to burn, and I quickly realized it was one of the heat formulas, which you guys, the heat formulas are super spicy, so be aware of that. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. It's just not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. But again, this one is called Bubble Binge. And then we have this shade right here called Fruit Snacks, which I was actually influenced by TikTok to pick up. I did feel like it looked way different on me than the girl that influenced me to pick it up. But nonetheless, it is really pretty. It's just not a gloss I'll gravitate to, like, every day, you know? Yeah, Fruit Snacks is actually really beautiful. And then another one of my favorites, this mini is called Peach Pout. And I got it in a set with the Peach Face Blush. And I love, love, love that set so much. I get a lot of use out of both products. If that set is still available, I would say pick it up because both the blush and the gloss are so pretty, especially if you're somebody that loves peach when it comes to makeup. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Again, it's called Peach Pout. And if they do have the set still available, I will try to link that for you guys as well. Next up is the Fenty Glow Heat, and this one is in the shade Fenty Glow Heat, which I think is just the original color like the first ever color just with that spiciness so i'm not gonna let this one sit for too long because i'm not really trying to plump right now but yeah i will say the plumping is intense but it takes a second to kick in because it has some type of spicy extract in it like a root extract but this is the shade. It's very beautiful, but it'll get you. It'll really, really get you. Then we have my other heat, which is called Lemon Lava, and it ends there. I do not have a lot of the heat formula because, honestly speaking, it's probably my least favorite. But this shade is in my top five. It's so beautiful. And it's one of those where, like, the more you add the more gold you're gonna get, which is so beautiful, so pretty. And that again is Lemon Lava. And I don't know if it's in my head, but I find this one to be more spicy and intense than the other. I don't know if that's just me or what, but yeah, I feel like this one is more intense with that spicy plumping. Last but not least, we have my Fenty Ice Gloss which is in the shade Cold Hearted. This one, honestly, it does look like it has a little blue tint to it, 
but once I put it on the lips, it looks pretty clear. Honestly, it is. And this one is so interesting. It gives you minty fresh breath, first of all. Um, but it does have that nice cooling, tingling effect on the lips, which again is pretty intense, but I definitely prefer this over the heat one because it doesn't, it doesn't like hurt or anything like that. The heat one almost does. So for me, if I had to pick between the two, I would say definitely this one. And you just feel like minty fresh, so I love that aspect of it too. But yeah, that was my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm swatch party. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make it to the end, 9 times out of 10, you guys are usually the ones that do stick around and watch my channel and have watched me grow and just got to know me a little bit better. So I just want to say I love you so much and thank you for being patient while I'm taking this time to heal and truly, you know, just work on myself through this breakup and just in general as a person because there's been so many changes for me just in the past few months so I love you and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any you know lip glosses from Fenty Beauty that I didn't mention that you own and I don't but you love let me know I am always down to pick up more and I also want to say just like a little quick thing too don't feel like you need to go out and pick up any of these if you already have so many glosses in your collection and you have similar shades you don't need any of this but i just thought it would be such a cute video to do and just a nice little you know thoughtless video just to you know get back out there and get to talk to you guys so i love you and i will see you in the next one besties bye